All right, it's chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day, except for one guy. Um, so this is a, a 74 AUC 1G08. Um, so it's a 7408 <laughs> from the old days. 7408, what is a 7408? It's an AND gate. Uh, logic AND, right? So high, high gives you a high, everything else gives you a low. Um, but why does this thing have so many letters in the name? <laughs> um, that's because this is a 1.8 volt device. It is optimized for VCC of 1.8 volts, um, but it is 3.6 volt compliant. So you can feed this thing 3.6 volt logic and it'll convert it down to 1.8 volt logic. Now, um, it's really silly what the applications are, right? It's an, it's, it's an AND gate. I mean, the applications could be, could be anything, but uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> it's pretty silly. Yeah, tablet enterprise. Now, not just any old tablet, but an enterprise tablet. <laughs> All right. So um, let's take a look at the package first. So this is the package, it's an SOT23-5. So it's a teeny tiny device and not many pins. It's got VCC and ground and only three other pins left over. So it's only one gate. <laughs> yeah, one gate. It's one AND gate, A, B and out. Um, so there you go. Um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be tiny. Um, I guess ideally it's this one here, SFO. Anyway, it is a very tiny package and I'll show you a picture here. All right, so I'm using uh, some of the um, SMD to SIP converters that I built. So first use out of that uh, board that I built. So we have it here. Um, we have pin, was it pin three is ground, pin five is VCC. Um, so. I have it hooked up and I thought that um, we could drive an LED. Now the data sheet says it uh, can drive plus or minus eight milliamps at 1.8 volts, right? So let's turn on the power supply here. We've got 1.8 going in and I have a logic uh, high low and the LED is not lit. And if I go to a high high, uh, the LED lights up. So. Very cool, eight milliamps. <laughs> uh, so, you, yeah, I mean, old LEDs it wouldn't work very good on, but new LEDs, you know, eight milliamps is plenty fine to uh, to light them up. So there you go. Um, I'm not exactly sure. You know, you're designing something, and all of a sudden you need an AND gate. I, I, I don't know. Everything's microprocessor based now. So I'm like, anybody raise their hand if you're like, I need one gate. I need one gate and this is going to do my job. So uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm an old designer. I'm from the 80s and uh, you just didn't, you didn't do things like, well, I mean, you did a lot of things like this back then, but these days um, I just don't, I, I, just, I don't know when you would, when you would need to have one AND gate. Maybe, I mean, maybe. Um, I guess it's fast, um, but yeah, there you go. Okay, um, so you want to actually use recommended operating conditions, not, not absolute max. Um, and the recommended is um, 0.8 to 2.7. So you can use these up to 2.7 volts, but the input is compliant higher than that. But yeah, there you go. Um, 2.7 volts. It looks like in a pinch you could make these things work at 3.3 in your garage, not in a product, but in the garage they probably take 3.3 fine, but uh, this says a uh, 2.7 is where you want to operate them and where all of the numbers are generated out of the data sheet. The, uh, oh, let's see here, logic high, uh, oh here we go, here are the if you run it at 2.3 volts, you can get 9 milliamps out of it. All right. Um, the high level is 0.8 to 1.95. Low. This is the low logic level high. Let's see. How do they min max? Oh, I see. So 1.7 is the high and 0.7 is the low. 
There you go. Okay, well, there you go. Chip of the day was an SN74AUC1G08DRLR IC gate and one channel, two input SOT5. There you go.